This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Nancy Youssef. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I'm so great. Thank you. Thank you for having me tonight. How are you? I'm excellent, my friend. Thanks for asking. I appreciate that tremendously. I'm glad to connect with you. What part of the world are you in right now? I am in the southeast of the United States in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, I love Nashville. I love Nashville. I love Nashville. Did I say I love Nashville? <laughs> Have you been to yeah, Nashville? A few times. A few times. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yes, Music City, of course. Yeah, yeah, I got to visit there as well. Uh, what's the name of that place? Like where Elvis has his, like his car so and all of Elvis his... is Graceland, and that's in Memphis, Tennessee. No, this is Nashville. I'm talking about. There's a. I did. I went there for Entre Leadership, and they did their final oh. event uh, there. But like his car was there. It was like this big center. Uh, I think it's the Nashville something music center or something like that, though. In the Music City Center? I wonder if it was a music special exhibition. Music City Center. Uh, yeah. 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 And there were Elvis things there, like cars and his boots and that type of stuff. Ah, so it might have been a, a special event. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Dave Ramsey is pretty popular over there, isn't he? Very popular, exactly. Yeah, it was a great event. This was in 2013. I love Tennessee. And then we returned, and then we were there last year. I love Tennessee. Did I say I love Tennessee? How many times did I say that? Amazing. I love that. I love that. How long have you been there? (laughs) Ten years. All right, so you're definitely a Tennessean. That's wonderful. Well, do tell me, which of your talents? What a Tennessean, I guess. (laughs) It works, doesn't it? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> well, do tell me, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history? Truly, it is the ability to connect and talk to almost anybody. Hmm. Who did you learn that from? My father, for sure. What did he do? He is a busy bee. Uh, you know, he's just a, he was an immigrant to the United States, but he had such a great character and great personality. Uh, still does, I say was. He is and still does. Has great character, a great personality, and he's, he's just able to connect with people on a really deep level, and somehow I inherited that from him. That's amazing. Would you believe that the person uh, that will be the episode before you actually said that about her father as well? No. I'm telling you, right? she's in, <laughs> she is where? She is located, well, she's in Sacramento. Yeah, I'll definitely connect you both. Yeah, Let's see our conversation. Yeah, that's our conversation, yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, do tell me a bit more what you do now, please. So I have recently started uh, now two years as a company, but one year operating a, a women's plus-size clothing online store Ooh. where did you get that idea from well 20 years ago i had an early life crisis i went to fashion design school after being in accounting and investment banking uh and i quit went to study in milan italy started a line there uh, that was my project for women's plus size clothing because my background and my family is egyptian And most of us at that time were plus-size women who always had to make our own clothes because we couldn't find any. Now it's changed a bit, but it all came full circle. I went into the corporate retail world, and then a couple years back, I say my midlife crisis and said, okay, I'm going to start my own company and found my product and found my designs from 20 years ago and thought, oh, this is still really relevant today. (laughs) Oh, that's an amazing story. You, you sum it up and it sounds as though it was just, you know, a run around the park. But I'm guessing yeah. there, there were the challenges yeah, that went yeah. with this. <laughs> there were challenges. Leaving the corporate world, having a family with two kids and, uh, you know, going out on your own is, is scary and fun. And there's been a lot of challenge. <laughs> it's not been so. an easy road. But definitely, uh, it's intriguing uh, the way uh, the this entire story built and came together. 
Absolutely. It was full circle. Um, you know, I, I truly believe that, uh, you know, things are a bit destined. And, and so my path was, while I lived it, was still a little bit uh, destined for me. And so everything sort of came full circle. I, I dipped a little bit into it in fashion design school, went into the retail. I worked all over the world, helped brands expand their brands and their companies all over the world. And then you know, came full circle and decided to create my own. And now we're, we're trying to expand it all over the world as well. Mm, that's amazing. Now, where's the best place for someone that's intrigued by what you do to connect with you? So we are online, predominantly online. We, um, we have a website called curveswithpurpose.com. I'm on Facebook and Instagram, also Curves with Purpose. Twitter is Curves Purpose. And my own LinkedIn profile, if you just want to reach out to me and say, hey, is uh, linkedin.com slash in slash Nancy Youssef. There we go. Well, right now, Nancy, I'll say that our connection is breaking up just a bit sometimes. Are you like really far from the Wi-Fi box or is it close to you? It's actually really close to me. I don't know why it's being so tricky tonight. Well, it could be the snowstorms. It is snow. It is storming all over the U.S. It seems. Oh, yes, it's raining. Yes, we're having some really turbulent weather tonight. Yeah. So, could be that. Are you wearing headsets? I am wearing headsets. Let's plug Can it out me? and see if it works better. Okay, hang on. Sure. Let me try that. How's that? It is better. Like a ton times better. It is better. The only thing okay, is, there we go. I'm the echoing. The audio just needs to come down a bit on your speakers. Okay, hang on one second. Sure. How's that? Testing. One. Yeah. Now we're perfect. Better? Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so amazing audience, we just did an adjust on the audio there, just to get back to Nancy. Nancy, tell me, what was it like yes. when you guys came up with the name Coos with Poopers? Um, you know, it, it was, it really stemmed from, um, you know, I had mentioned my parents were, were immigrant parents and, and, uh, you know, they, they struggled, they lived sort of the American dream and grew into their life here. And for me, as I was growing and going through my corporate world and everything that I was exposed to, one of the biggest and most important things was always to remember that you live a life with a purpose, that there's a give back component, that it's just not not just about being successful in a monetary way, but being successful and giving back to people and paying it forward. And so the curves was, you know, clear on, on the mission of the plus size, but the purpose was really to give back, um, to help improve quality of life, by giving the ability for people to dress however they want to dress and find clothing in their sizes and also having a charitable component. So purpose was really important to me and that's how it came up. Mm, love it. All right, my friend. I do love what you're doing. I do love the poopers built into it. I love the name as well, Curves with Poopers, right? I'm thinking it's woman curves and and that's highlighted there with poopers. Is that a bit about it? Though? Yes. <laughs> that is exactly it. It's a women's yeah. It's women's curves. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. But we're all inclusive. So anyone, equal opportunity, whoever wants to buy. That's definitely amazing. I love it. All right, my friend. Well, here's what. Let's switch gears for a moment. Let me invite you now into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Nancy, what is your earliest childhood memory? Wow, one of my earliest childhood memories uh, was actually, so I was born here in the U.S., but we moved to, Eng uh, to England, or Paris, sorry, when I was six months old. But at age five, I remember we moved to England, and we were walking in the streets in London, and I was like any curious child actually looking at the window display of a fashion store and I got lost in it and my mom and my brother had already walked along we were walking from home from school and they left and I was just still sitting there staring at this window and the display and all these beautiful clothes and I remember being lost and not being able to find my family for for about 30 minutes but it was because i was memorized in this beautiful clothing window mm -hmm. and so that was probably my earliest memory i was about five years old and it had to do with clothing so i guess it's always been in my dna that's amazing <laughs> i love that definitely wow well 
can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with that memory? Yes. Having the thing that is available for the sight of others is very important. So it's one thing to see you being captivated by what you're seeing through that window, but it's so intriguing that now you've understood how necessary it is to produce the images of these things so others can understand, they too can access it. It's a bit of a flip of the script, but definitely necessary for one to serve the other. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a great interpretation. Thank you. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? <laughs> Funny enough. So there were several ones. That one is hard for me, but the one that probably sticks out the most to me was If I Could Turn Back Time by Cher. She had just come out with it that year when I was 12. Oh, there we go. All right, Nancy. Well, we've <laughs> arrived at our destination now, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form, so it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Nancy, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Well, not one specific person, but I have chosen to try to help influence as many women as I can, and men as well. So, you know, I have two boys as children, and so I try to actively influence them in being open to as many people as they can be, as many cultures cultures as they can be and just being opening to hearing people's stories and learning through other people so probably first and foremost my kids but really anyone that will listen to me hmm. are you married i am all right so you're married you have two children do you believe in god i, I do do you have an inner circle of friends I do have an inner circle of friends. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How oh, about three hours a week? Rarely, unless it's a movie. What about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, it's less than eight hours a day, but it's close. All right, Nancy. <laughs> if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Nancy Youssef, what would you say that is? I would say have an open heart and an open mind and always be open to everybody and anything that comes your way. Hmm. Love it. Just like Nancy was open to me and definitely had the conversation with me. I appreciate that, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. I was so glad to connect with you. It was a wonderful connecting as well. Before we leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I would just say I so appreciate what you're doing. I love the concept behind it. And I, I just love the opportunity to talk to someone new from across the seas <laughs> and hope we get to meet face to face. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how yeah. that goes. I appreciate that. Fancy Nancy. I'm sure you've heard that before. <laughs> I have. That is my parents' nickname for me. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Nancy Youssef, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.